Hey guys, Nick here, and today let's talk about Social Robotics, a bolstering marketplace that seeks to provide interactive and communal applications to modern day robotics. Ozobot, a company that has since pioneered the effort at making this a lucrative market, has created Ozobot, an intelligent games piece that reacts differently to mazes and tracks you make on paper or on your iPad. They've graciously provided me with a sample, and it's indisputable that if you're at work or you have kids, Ozobot is radically different and can change the game, and we might just have a winner on our hands. Let's take a look. Secrets. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about the. All right, guys. So just for um, quick unboxing purposes, let's take a look at what we actually get inside the box. We have. Um, just a few papers here. This is actually pretty cool. This is a um, pre-drawn and printed maze, so you can go ahead and, and test your color codes on the Ozobot. Um, it's real magic lies in its really cool color sensor, uh, which I will get to later, so let's go ahead and take a look at what else we have here. Brain teasers, more just mazes and cool games that you can play on paper if you're not down to use any mobile tablet. Uh, drawing board where you can fill in the uh, maze, or yeah, you can just fill it in and use certain color sequences and color it in with markers, which they graciously provided me. I got red, green, uh, and blue and black. Perfect. Now we have, what else? More drawings. Oh, here we go. So we finally have the two devices here. These are the Ozobots themselves. So if you can get a close up, Focus, focus. Yeah, so this is the one Ozobot. Um, and the cool thing is you can actually put different caps on them. You can go ahead and use this one, that one. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is what comes in the box. Um, I was sent a review kit, so maybe you'll just get the actual devices themselves and some mazes, maybe not the markers. But yeah, this is what I got. And uh, without further ado, let's get to testing the device on both the iPad and some of these pre-built mazes. So here's just a quick and easy demo using the pre-printed sheets that Ozobot provided me. And apart from winning a plethora of awards and commendations, Ozobot has really taken to their intended demographic in a new and innovative way. Its real magic, like I said before, lies in its unique color sensor that can react to different shades and sequences of color that signal a particular move. Their color commands to speed up, do a U-turn, and much, much more, which you'll see right now. Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to show you a little bit of what the Ozobot mobile app looks like because chances are if you're going to spend the $50 or so on actually getting this little robot, chances are you're probably going to use it on a mobile device or tablet. So I'm going to run through a few of the preloaded games that Ozobot has and uh, tell you how I like them. First things first, there are a few navigation buttons you can learn more about Ozobot here. Um, actually go ahead and purchase one through the loaded web page, but we're not gonna do that because I already have one. And here's the tune-up page, which is possibly the most useful page in this app. You can calibrate Ozobot sensors. You can change its mood by using different lighting settings. You can change its default speed. You can also um, go through a little process to balance Ozobot's motors, which is pretty cool. Um, you can set shutoff timers for Ozobot. But going back to what you guys actually wanna see is the game. Um, we have several different ones here. We have OzoDraw, which is, uh, I kind of like it, not really. It's basically this app where you can do freehand drawings and have Ozobot follow your color sequences by just um, drawing random stuff. That's all right. Um, Ozopath is one of my favorites. It's a strategy built game where you can go ahead and navigate through a maze that the game actually sets up for you and it's pretty tricky so I'll show you guys that one right now. Um, Ozo Groove is a dancing app where you set Ozobot down, load a song, calibrate the sensors and it just grooves. Game Zone, um, you can actually print your own and create your own printable mazes Ozo Luck is like a chance game. The maze moves around constantly changing every few seconds and you just have to let Ozobot do its thing and, and find its way to the finish line. Um, yeah, so ultimately is Ozobot worth the money? And I think to be fully honest, it is. Oftentimes we get caught up in the idea of the next big thing that we forget that gradual and incremental changes to certain types of technology are just as crucial. Ozobot by no means is the next life-changing product, but it does approach the idea of interactive gaming in an unprecedented way. Give it a few years and let Ozobot iron out any flaws, and soon enough we'll have the nifty product that everyone can appreciate. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.